Welcome back, everybody, to episode 6 of my beta Let's Play. Anyone free so, I... Of course, this mission starts the split second I start recording. Anyway, uh, I cleared out most of this for um, all the materials I could get. I guess someone literally just moved in. I don't really care about them, though. Um, and let's see what I've built. I've started upgrading the workshop. I need a workshop, too, because I'm actually out of... Uh, car repair kits, tool kits. I could not think of the word there for a second. And you need, I believe, level 2 in order to build them. Can't build them at level 1. Uh, and I also built a rain collector and a garden. Um, I'm almost even on food. Actually, maybe once I boost yield. No, that'll only give me like half another food. So it'll only be a minus 1 food per day, I think. But that's pretty good for lethal. Uh... But otherwise, I'm pretty positive, actually. I'm still negative on meds. Um, but again, just by one. But overall, pretty good shape. And Rain Collector will keep me happy and will eventually let me upgrade the garden if I can't move to the... Oh, just that was weird. It just told me the mission again. Um, if I can't move over here to the fire station um, anytime soon. But today, I'm, my plan is to try to blitz down a couple hearts. Uh... Last time I mentioned that, I, I think it was last time or the time before that I, I got uh, the um, mission where you get the supply drop with the like advanced biotech stuff. And it also gave me one supply block. One one bottle of, or one bottle of scent block. Did I say supply block? What is My head is not in the game, I guess, right now. So anyway, I'm going to try using this. And actually, just in case... Let's craft one of these as well, um, because one zombie bite will definitely get me infected at this point. Uh, I'll just carry it with me. Uh, so I'm going to run up here and hopefully with, I'm bringing like five bottles of stimulants, I should be able to just beat down these three hearts very quickly. Hopefully even a fourth one. So we'll see how things go. Uh, if I can get down four of them, just in like this first, you know, minute or two of the video, not minute or two, I mean it's going to take me a couple minutes, but in this first segment of the video, then hopefully by the time I go to, like, wrap up the video, but maybe I can clear out the last couple, like, in this video as well, without using scent block, and, um, maybe, hopefully, get the fire station by the end of this episode. That would be a nice goal, although I don't want... If this doesn't go well, I don't want the, uh, the episode to drag on, so I might not get there quite yet. Uh, okay, so let's see. Where did I want to park? Just like right up here. As I said, I'm out of repair kits, uh, so I can't use my car like at all to uh, run over zombies. I don't want to risk it. With a bunch of repair kits, of course, you can um, just kind of beat on it however much you want. The quicker I get this done, the better. Uh, I'm gonna try to delay using the set block as long as possible. Oh, I thought he was gonna hit me. No, I, I do want that to... There we go. Where's my scent ball? Don't drink the... Okay, no more of those. Oh, wow. That poison. Didn't really expect that. Okay, let's run over here. Wow, this... You do have to, like, break line of sight, I think, before the, he'll stop. Oh no, I think he did stop, okay. I was like preemptively dodging there because I figured he was going to hit me. Or like dive for me. But I think now that, I believe once I like, uh, sorry, I'm trying to look at my minimap and judge where I need to go. Once I uh, jump through that window and like kind of around the, uh, not the aisle, what are those called? Like just the shelving units, I guess? Um, he, he lost track of me. Oops, 
Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna have to pop another stimulant here. I'm not actually sure how long the scent block lasts, but uh, I guess we'll see. I'll, I mean, I'll have video proof. I can just um, watch the video back and see. Time up. Okay. No one's chasing me. That's good. As I, as you notice with the, the Plague Feral, of course, they can notice you and lock onto you while you are sent block. It's just, I don't know if rare is the right word. Uh, it, it's it, it's much harder, I guess. It's probably the, the right. That's probably the right term. It's just harder. They have to hear you and then also like hear you while they're close to you and sometimes they'll just like randomly attack the air at where like they just heard a sound oh my gosh there's a lot of zombies right here like that guy just kind of attacked the ground okay that one's down so then I'm gonna attack this guy then go over uh, attack the one in the um, bar and then come back over here and finish this one off. Then I might be able to finish off. Or start on the one just south of this as well. How long has my video been going? I can't read it from here. <laughs> what? That was weird. I've never done that before. <laughs> I look back at I was looking over at my second monitor. Keep look at my look at my screen and I'm like standing in the middle of a flower pot. Oh whoops. Yep, see that guy was or I have to maybe I don't know, one zombie, I don't know. Do they have gender when they're a zombie? I, mean, I guess sort of they do I don't know how that works. Anyway, um That one that one was about to grab me. Uh just based on sound and like Hearing sounds next to her. Good, that's three hearts down and just... Oh gosh, that was a tackle. Oh! Get out, close the... Please let me close the... Okay, don't let me close the door. Whatever. I'll just close this door once I get through it. Okay. This oh, this is not where the heart is. It's in the corner. <laughs> As I was walking in there, I was like, oh, this is the exact same layout as the gun store. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't actually say that because that would have been wrong. But now that I'm telling you that I was thinking it, it was less impressive that it wasn't. Uh, I did bring my AK just in case I need to burst down a heart. Like, if my scent block started running out right now, I'd just kill the heart and then run. Um... It's done. Oh, yep, it just, it's just—it's flashing right now. Why am I not on auto? Why am I stuck there? Okay, now I want to get away from the zombies before it wears off. And switch back to auto or to single fire. As long as the feral doesn't get on me, I should be good. The feral's just running towards me, even though he has no idea where I am. Whoa, excuse me. So let's just close that door. Where's that feral? Is he coming? He's definitely nearby. Uh, let's heal before I start doing too much stupid stuff. Oh, here's the first. Oh, there's a whole army here already. Okay, maybe it's just time to leave and we'll come back. <laughs> come back for the goodies. Uh, but that was four hearts down. Yeah, that was four hearts down. Um, so let's just leave and we'll drive back to uh, the outpost we were at. Four hearts down in... Oh, for a second I thought I wasn't recording. Uh... Nine minutes or something? Is that right? 
but of course not all of that was sent block there was a the whole introduction bit that was really good so <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to cut here drive back to base get switch characters probably because she's pretty sick and then come back to loot my goodies Alrighty, I switched over to Steve, who's my last non-hero. Oh, don't hit these zombies. My last non-hero person. And, uh, I realized that there's no real point in me trying to get my good stuff. Like, try to loot the stuff, because, or at least not yet. Obviously, eventually I, I will want to. Okay, that's, let's avoid this while I talk a little bit. Um... Because I'm going to move here. I might as well loot while my base is like right next to me. I'm, why would I want to drive all my goodies back way up north to the warehouse when I could just drive it kind of two inches, two blocks north to the fire station. These people are starting to get annoyed. This one mission that I have, the one that I've selected here is uh, they, they want help killing a plague heart. I literally just killed four plague hearts and they're not happy enough with that. Uh, I'm just kind of driving around randomly. I'm not sure what exactly I'm waiting on. So let's just get to it. Is this the house with the... Okay, it is the house with the... Uh, what is this? Fence? Stone fence, I guess? Whoops. Okay, that's not exactly where I meant to go, but... Oh, this is a really... Bad house. They can attack you from both directions. If you watch, if you see my speed runs on this map, you would heard me say the same thing probably. That since they can come in from behind, it's really not good. Yeah, that was bad. I have, I did bring um, a plague here. I made another one, and I also crafted a. Uh, what is it? A repair kit? Tool kit? Come on, just jump on. I also crafted the tool kit just so that I could repair this in case something went badly. Uh, let's... Let's look where I'm driving. Can you not take this while you're driving? What? I did not know that was a thing. Okay. Um... I'm gonna park at this other house. Oh, that's a bloater! Don't hit the bloater! Well, that's the okay, last remote one. advice. Let's get some healing going. Okay, this is a good. This one on the other end is a very good heart to attack. Because the, the, while they can come from behind you, most of them come from the front. And uh, your swings against the heart will also hit the zombies attacking you. Oh. Come on, come on, I'm wasting the stamina item. Please, attack the heart just like one more time. Thank you. I'm gonna run across the street and... Did I get stuck on a flower pot again? I've never had that happen before, and that's twice in the last like five minutes of playtime. <laughs> okay, close the door. Give myself as much time as I can hitting this. Did I not even pop it the first time? Oh, gosh. Okay, I didn't realize I didn't even do the first pop. Oh, another feral. Excuse me. Run away so the I can get eyes on the feral if it's chasing me. Switch over to single fire so I don't waste too much ammo shooting the feral. I do not see it, but I do hear it. Was that it? No, that's just a regular zombie climbing the fence. 
Also with this heart, if they do start pulling up behind me, you can always just dodge over in front of it and be pretty okay in terms of zombies. Uh, if they're all behind you, then you can just use that little gap there to... Whoa! Use that little gap there to uh, funnel them uh, in the opposite direction. Oh, that is the... I think that was the feral. Yeah, that's the screamer, a, now. Oh, I missed. I full-on missed. Okay. Let's just get in my car because I suck. Do not have another first... Er, uh, not first aid kit. Um... What is it called? Another, uh... What are they called? Here, I'll play here. Where did this barrel go? Oh, there it is. There's a screamer somewhere. I heard myself, or like my character, yell about it, but I don't, haven't seen him yet. Will you just get on at some point? Dude, thank you. Okay, I should be able to just finish off this heart right here, and then I can actually just claim the base. I don't think that bottom heart actually sees the base. Let's take some goodies while we'll I have a moment. Actually, we can just take everything. I don't like leaving hearts around for whatever reason. Uh, like the kind of heart corpse, I guess. Oh, report... Success. Okay, I guess that was the specific heart that wanted killed. Doc wanted killed. Let me check my bit. Yeah, I can go up and claim here. Okay. Let's hope the uh, what what are they called? The parking spots work because that's really annoying that the parking spots don't work on uh, the warehouse. That's a bit of a fixer-upper, but I can maybe get to like this place. Is this the spot? It's weird that it had an up arrow. Oh! There's a zombie there that I walked right past. Am I blind? Yes, I am. Well, Sweet! That was actually here. really easy. So I have one more heart in town to claim? Or to kill? Uh, let's claim this though and get this going. I think this will cancel the uh, the siege, or the incoming siege, yeah. Um, oh, I have a couple... I have a couple um, infestations up there that I need to take care of eventually. But I'm in great shape. Okay, so I'm going to get unloaded and probably loot some of the nearby hearts, like the dead hearts that were like here, 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 and... One of these other places that I don't remember, was it the value wagon? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do some looting uh, and get my base set up, so I will be right back. Alright, I did a little bit of looting and uh, fixed up my base here. Uh, if you haven't ever switched to this base, it has a ton of built-in stuff. Like, almost everything here is built-in except for the staging area and the infirmary, I think. But most of it starts out broken, and you have to repair it, which isn't too bad. I actually have someone... Uh, that gives plus two labor as their hero bonus, so I was able to repair everything very quickly. Um, a few things could be upgraded, uh, like the emergency services, but but the best part of this base, in my opinion, for a um, for a new community on Lethal, is this utility room. It gives you power and water um, just right in the base. It's built in. Uh, it does cost two fuel, but I have a ton of fuel by this point. So that's not too big of a deal. Also, it has four beds, and it comes with uh, sheltered beds that you can upgrade if needed. It's just like the regular facility. Um, you could tear it down. Uh, I'm, I'm saving this a big slot or a large slot for uh, Sniper Tower, which um, one of the finale missions will... Uh, not f One of the legacy missions, not the finale mission. One of the legacy missions will want me to build. Uh, I could still upgrade this storage too, but I want to save materials because... Um, I'm actually pretty low on materials. When I when I first switched, I had a hundred materials. I was like, "Oh, great! I can do so much." And then, like after I built and upgraded the infirmary, upgraded the storage, upgraded the staging area, and I think I upgraded yeah the material outpost. Um, 
and I think upgrade the yeah, this emergency services training um, facility, the built-in. It's kind of like a half fighting. It's a, yeah, basically a fighting gym with like half infirmary. You can't do a lot of the infirmary stuff, but uh, it does passively heal injuries. Um, but if you want to do other stuff like um, make a plague cure or uh, do any of the like, especially the infection therapy to just remove your um, blood plague while you're at base, you need an infirmary of your own. Oh, it's a nice little place though. It's it's yeah, it's basically just a fighting gym that with a little bit of a bonus. Anyway, um, yeah, I got that already, and I uh, also did a cup went up here and did a couple missions. I think these people wanted food, and then these people wanted to talk about the play card I killed, and I got a mission over here. I think it's the like the weird group that uh, I, I think they're called the Zombie Hunters or something, where they like missions about like chopping off zombie arms or uh i think they have they're the ones with like the zombie chained in their um chained inside their uh base but i'm probably not gonna go up there until i kill or until i want to kill these hearts and kill these infestations so for now um i'm fine unfortunately my megalodon didn't come with me uh, i assumed it wouldn't because of the parking spaces weren't working but I didn't ever touch, or I didn't like, I didn't ever move the Megalodon because I was kind of hoping that, you know, maybe the parking spot would somehow work for that until I moved it. You know, some weird edge case. Uh, there is a bug. I switched bases, but this mission didn't end. I guess I needed to talk to Steve before I switched bases. I'm not sure what will happen when I do that. I still do need to finish off this. This is where the last heart was. I, I didn't loot that. Uh, and I don't think I looted the gun store either, because I, <laughs> I like, kept walk going around here, and there was like a horde. I think this horde has, um, ju a juggernaut in it, and uh, like every building I went into would just spawn new zombies, and it was annoying. And then I finally, like, looted everything, and um, then the uh, where am I? Then the oh, I need more gas already. And then the. Uh, gun store also it just produced like a dozen zombies or something I was like okay I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not that uh, desperate for stuff yet so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my time doing that um, but let's go over and kill this last heart and then I think I'm gonna get geared up I kind of want to do a another one another one of those uh, scent block Ooh, another one of those scent block heart killing runs but in the um, southeast of the map, and well, I forget what the name of the towns are. But let me open my open up my map in a second. But like down here, and like kill a couple of these hearts. Although they're more spread out, so I won't be able to run back and forth as quickly. But maybe maybe I can get three hearts in one scent block, which would be pretty cool. So let's try. Oh, let's not hit zombies. And as I said, there's a horde up here that's uh, had. I think it had a bloater and a screamer and a juggernaut in it, so I don't want... Okay, I'll just cut in there. It's up to my right somewhere. I don't want to drive too quickly and then have it... Oop, have it load in the horde, like, as I'm passing through it, and... Uh, that can be bad, like... <laughs> you suddenly are... you're driving and then suddenly a juggernaut warps in and it's... Literally in front of you, you crash into it, and then, like, a bloater next to it... Just explodes on you immediately. It's just snow. not a happy time. Oh yeah, this is the good heart. Oh, I, and I forgot to mention I'm using. Okay, okay, okay let's just go. I'm using my good character. I think I talked about him in either the last episode or the episode before that. Let me just drive away a little bit so that these people despawn. Probably up here will be fine. It looks pretty clear. Oh, there's one zombie. Okay, let's just run them over real quick. Or I'll just walk through them. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's plus two beds and plus 20 stamina. Ooh, there's a zombie. Really good. Plus eats less food and uh, avoids conflict. So just good in a lot of ways, but also good at fighting. Is this, where's that screamer go? Right in front of me. 
Don't scream. Don't scream. Okay, good. So I'm going to loot these last two hearts, the one in the house next to me and then the one across the street. And then I'll get geared up to go and take out some hearts in the uh, southeast of the map. Is that... What is that town called? I know it's Providence Ridge. I don't know what this house is called. Or that not house. What this area is called. I almost just got bitten while I was on the map. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back. I decided instead of going after the town in the southeast, which doesn't really get me much because it would just like half clear the town, that I would go after this town up here and clear it out and then also get uh, these infestations. I also rewatched the earlier clip where I used the scent block. The scent block lasts five okay. minutes and starts and flashing when you have 30 seconds, 30 seconds left. Let's go inside. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, these hearts up here are a little bit farther apart still, so I won't really be able to run between the houses easily. Now, I do think you're pretty safe in here. Not 100%. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not at all. Maybe I'm totally wrong about that. Uh, okay, maybe let's pop it. No, get you jump back in here. Oh, well, this guy is definitely on my butt. Why is this guy on my butt? Oh, I thought I heard the feral right next to the door. There we go. And executed, if you said this before, but just in case you didn't see what, whenever I said that. Uh, if you manage to stun a uh, feral plague or otherwise and by opening a door, you can just instant kill it. You can stun it with the door just by opening it. You don't have to do anything special. You just have to open the door into the... Oh, that's a bloater! Where did it go? You just have to open the door into the feral... Okay, don't... Okay, good. If that infected my car, my character would be very much less less healthy. Oh my gosh, I am just wasting so much time, actually. I don't know if I'd be able to get the, get the uh, third heart or not. Maybe I should just shoot after the second pop. Please don't be after me. Okay, looks like he doesn't know exactly where I am. But if he's right here, yes. Can't catch my breath. Just open the door into him. There we go. Got him again. No. Uh. No. What? I'm literally standing next to the heart. Let's hit the heart. Yes, you are, dude. Just hit the heart. It's damaged. It's You're basically back. invisible. I do not want this guy to die, so... I'm f oh my goodness. So I don't think I'm going to be able to go after the... Get away from my car, dude. Wherever you see a screamer, a bloater is never far behind. Oh, that might be too close. Shoot, where? Okay, I'm just running for it. I should be able to make it before my. No, what? What was that like slow walk thing? Okay, I'm not gonna get that other heart. But this is my best character. I was just using him to just raise his stats because this is probably gonna be the only character I keep in the legacy pool. Um. I could use some medical attention here, stat. Yeah, he's probably going to be the only character I keep, so I wanted to raise his stats and, um... Wow, those plague ferals... That's, I guess that's one advantage of uh, running back and forth between hearts. 
uh, by the time the plague pharaoh gets to the heart where it just that just spawned it you're already at the next heart um and it won't be chasing like it won't be there and then you know you knock that heart down oh gosh of course there's a jug and um like passing out a bunch of baddies but i think i'm far enough away that it doesn't matter and i'm still sent block so it should be a-okay Oh, that's not even the right place. <laughs> okay, I do need to make one. Uh, yep, I'm good. Uh, let's heal. I didn't actually get like any injuries. It was just like the the swipes from the dudes um, destroyed me. Um, did I destroy? I did destroy that second one. Where's my car? Let's mark my car. Uh, okay, I'm going to go after some of these infestations and then... Actually, where am I going to even go? Hmm. I'm out of this, so let's... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go after the infestations on the run back. So uh, let me get equipped up and then I'll meet you back then. Alright, I'm running up on the infestations now. Uh, I switched my gun uh, from my... Um, AK with a break over to a, this isn't going to work very well, to a um, AR-15 with an advanced silencer that I got from, uh, Fire the hole! Uh, where did I get that? Uh, from one of the hearts, uh, you can get a um, Arctic Warrior, or forget, it's like the 7628 round um, bolt action. Um... It comes with an advanced silencer, which uh, I really like uh, because it keeps your guns pretty durable, but also silent, uh, which silence is good. We're not silent. Like, they are just suppressors, uh, especially on lethal. It's not silent. Please spread the fire. Spread the fire. Uh, not as much as I would have liked. Let's get out of those. Oh, it sounds like that there was a door like to my left that was being knocked open. I was worried like <laughs> a couple zombies were gonna path right by me. Oh, please don't aggro on me right before you die. Okay. Oh, that's a whole that's that's the group that I heard. Yep, that's the group I heard. How did, how did they not? I don't know how those first two didn't get set on fire. I have an idea. Okay, I do want to Let's find this else. quickly, so that he doesn't become loud and annoying. Oh, there he is, just standing. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about infestations for a while. Great. Oh, uh, now I can keep running to my car. Where's my car? Down. I, I heard that. <laughs> I heard that zombie making like a yelping noise or whatever. I assumed he was lunging at me. Uh, okay, let's just run up the street. Get my car. And then I think I'm going to end it uh, once I get my car. Right, another infestation. Oh, no, I think that's... That infestation is uh, from that mission specifically. Anyway, I'm going to get my car and uh, end the episode here. We've killed eight hearts this episode. So I, f I feel like that's pretty good. Um, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully next time we can probably pick off these three. Get out of here. Pick off these three lone hearts and then start maybe start work on the... Um, uh, the town in the southeast. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.